Realty Weather Lab. Here's Bradley's forecast. Well, a different day, but same weather story. Hot out there this afternoon, but you may have noticed it was a little bit more humid, uh, especially compared to the last couple of days, and that's because dew points have come up. Instead of the 50s, they're now back into the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. So uh, we're going to be dealing with that over the next several days into the week ahead here across the KDM. Temperatures tonight slow to cool, be in the 80s through about sunset, and then eventually we'll see temperatures dropping into the 70s. Now, last couple of mornings we saw overnight lows in the 60s tonight uh, only in the lower to middle 70s courtesy of a southerly wind coming out of the Gulf of Mexico so that's bringing in that Gulf moisture for sure but fair skies in place a relatively quiet night ahead and again overnight lows low to mid 70s so that's where we'll start uh, our Memorial Day and we'll call it mostly sunny to partly cloudy into the afternoon it's going to be another hot one humid as well upper 80s to near 90 degrees heat indices uh, will top out low Lower 90s by the afternoon. Rain chances no better than uh, 5%. Most of us staying dry out there and then we'll hold middle 70s heading into Tuesday morning and then pretty much similar story into the afternoon. Partly cloudy skies. Now uh, we will start to see a little bit more uh, low level moisture in place. So once we get some daytime heating for our afternoons and early evenings, we'll start to introduce isolated rain chances back into the forecast, uh, but still no better than 20 or 30%. And uh, that's pretty much how it's going to go for the rest of the week. Meanwhile, out in the tropics, we uh, do continue to track Hurricane Agatha. Here it is uh, bearing down on the Mexican coastline looking to make landfall sometime tomorrow night going into Tuesday, potentially as a major hurricane. So significant impacts there. Then it's going to be crossing over uh, mountainous terrain. So it is going to break apart pretty uh, significantly here, but we will start to see moisture try to sneak into the Gulf of Mexico, maybe redevelop on the Atlantic side. But even if that were the case, it looks like all of this is going to be pushing well off to our south and east, potentially bringing uh, squally weather to portions of the Sunshine State about a week from tomorrow. Meanwhile, for us, dry air so our rain chances down heading into next weekend and into the early parts of next week and we'll be talking hot temperatures could see those um, afternoon highs pushing the middle 90s. The only uh, thing that could give us a little bit of a break from that heat tomorrow is a southerly breeze. It'll start to pick up mid morning into the afternoon sustain and that around we'll say 8 to 14 miles per hour gust at times could even be a little bit higher than that. So overall milder night ahead across the Katy and a 72 for that projected low average sits at 70 and then Memorial Day tomorrow mostly sunny to partly cloudy 89 to 90 into the afternoon. And uh, we'll see that south to southeasterly breeze at around 8 to 14. Next several days, again, definitely going to be feeling like summer here across the Acadiana. As we take a look at the 10 day forecast, high temperatures, low to mid 90s for our afternoons. And again, isolated rain chances. Uh, but nothing that's going to be too terribly significant. 20 to 30 percent at best. And uh, as we head into the weekend, looks like rain chance is coming down even lower to around 10% into next week as well. Hot temperatures, middle 90s potentially for those afternoon highs and overnight lows won't be uh, too terribly comfortable either as they'll be settling into the low and mid 70s. Scott. Now summer doesn't officially start until like what June 20 something. Correct, right? 21st, 22nd, yeah. And uh, and I keep saying it, but we didn't hit 90 until June 9th last year, and it's just been 90 after 90 after 90 this year. Difference a year can make. Also much drier so far this early summer compared to last year's yeah, early summer. That's true. So, All right, thank yep. you, Bradley.